guys, today we're gonna be using this Aurora Glam spray set to make this design sweat resistant, yay! We're gonna start off with some gray and we're gonna go ahead and go around the forehead, around the jawline, and around the eye. Don't forget to leave that space open for the black on the eyes and in the mouth area. Go ahead and make sure you have good coverage. Next, you're gonna take some white. An opaque white would be great. Then you're gonna highlight the areas that you want to pop out. I like to do it on the forehead. Think of the contour areas underneath the eye and around the jawline and the chin, as well as a little bit on the nose. Once you're happy with that, you're gonna go ahead and grab a brush. I have this Paint Pal brush that I am using today and I'm gonna grab some black. Wolf black is what I have. And I'm gonna create the shape of the eye. I want this skull to look angry. So make sure to cut it around and through the eyebrow to make it look a little angry. Then you're gonna go ahead and outline the area that you want to darken out, where the mouth is at and the teeth are at, the jaw area and then blend it out with the sponge to make it look a little more airbrushed. Make sure you continue using that spray set every time you pick up a new color with either a sponge or a brush, and that's gonna make it sweat proof. Next, I have a little Cornell liner brush. I believe this is number three, and I'm just gonna create some lines to create more interest on the skull. Then I'm gonna go ahead and outline it. Make sure you don't forget the nose. Then we're gonna add some cracks to give it some more interest. And of course, some angry expression lines. I'm gonna go ahead and outline the jaw area, the bones. I'm gonna grab some more white now. This time I'm grabbing my number six round low cornell and I'm gonna add the teeth. So what you do is you press and release, kind of make some teardrops, thick to thin and that's going to create some awesome teeth without having to use a stencil. Next, we're going to use the same brush and we're going to create some cool highlights. You can pretty much pick wherever you want to highlight them. I like to do so wherever I think the light hits. Then I'm going to grab my number three low cornell and I'm going to outline those teeth to make them a little more interesting. Add a little more detail above and under the teeth, smudge it out a little bit to make it look a little more organic and spray yourself with a little more spray. Now let's bounce! And I did a little bit of cardio here, 20 minutes to be exact, intense cardio, bouncing around with my bounce boots and as you can see I have my face paint on. So let's see, here's the end result still pretty much painted there is a little bit of transfer but not too thank you for watching follow me on social media at funny faces and more by yvonne